going on everyone? It's Brain with your coach, Fine Jewelry, Shore Personal Jewelry. In this video, I, I'm gonna make a bold take and I might get canceled. My credibility is going to be lost. I don't know, man. I'm just giving it up. I'm just making videos to make videos these days, so I might have the worst recommendation of all time. Or is it? With that being said, let's get started. This video is going to make some people uncomfortable and the comment section will be toxic. So please, for your warning, be sitting down. Make sure your blood sugar is okay. Level at a stable condition because I just had a bag of beef jerky before making this video. I was kind of feeling a little bit weak before lunch and I need to be focused because we are reviewing thin 22 karat gold chains with small 22 karat pendants. Cheers. 22 karat gold being so soft, why would you ever think to go with a thin chain and a small pendant? It's a recipe for disaster, right? Wrong. Everyone is geared to think 10 karat is the most durable, 14 karat, you're good. If you go 18, 22 karat, it's gonna be a nightmare, but what my experience, people that buy 22 karat gold tend to take care of it very well. And if you like 22 karat gold for the gold coloring, the gold weight, and also if you are sensitive to the other alloys in a 14 karat or 18 karat, there's more different alloys you might be allergic to, the less of those alloys in an item, less problems you'll have, obviously. So those are some strengths. And the fact that it is a straight flex, I got the one and a half millimeter diamond cut Franco, 22 inches with a mini round St. Christopher and 22 karat. I'll put some B-rolls across the screen. So that's kind of the reason to, as to why you should go with it. Now, real quick, let's talk about the cons. I want to give you my professional um, take on 22 karat pendants because I know people don't really watch videos for the durability. I want you to get this note. With a pendant, no matter if it's 14, 18, 22 karat, 10 karat, the issue you will have is at the jump ring where the bell connects. And I'll put this mini 22 karat St. Christopher across the screen and kind of point to where that is. So if you're wearing something daily, I always recommend, just like your chains, there are certain parts of your chains you should check from time to time to make sure the wear is not excessive because that's naturally going to happen just what it is on these. So near the bail, especially with 22 karat, you want to just make sure the jump ring is not too thin. It's not wearing because daily it will rub. So that is what to look for and to be cautious no matter what the purity is with a pendant. Now that I got the disclaimers out of the way, let's have some fun. This one millimeter diamond cut 22 karat Franco on linksresale.com, oh my gosh, it's still intact and looking great, is a durable chain. It's just like the Jokoji one, not from the same manufacturer. These are the Lynx one that I'm reviewing. It is a Lynx resale and Jokoji collab for this video. The pendants are from Jokoji.com, our signature pieces. The chains are from Lynx resale. Some of you might know, we got domestic diamond cut 22 karat Frankos in. So I'm pairing the two. This is the smallest size. I'll put a B-roll across the screen. The end caps, the clasps look similar to what we sell on Jokoji, um, but very nice shades. I would stick more towards females, tiny pieces with a one millimeter Franco. On my neck, I have the one and a half millimeter size, which actually is my favorite size for smaller pendants or this look. I love the one and a half millimeter diamond cut Francos. End caps, I think it's very durable. And the chain itself being 22 karat feels really good around the neck in the hand. The quality is good. The coloring is not that different although it kind of is, but at the smaller sizes you guys will see across the screen, it doesn't make a huge difference as far as coloring. I think it looks great. So the one and a half millimeter is one of my favorites and I'll put a side by side between the one millimeter and one and a half. As you can see, there's a pretty big difference. We don't have a 1.2 millimeter yet. So I want to just focus on these two sizes to show you guys what they're looking like. Can you wear these pieces daily? Yes, of course you can. Should you sleep in them? I would probably be cautious um, sleeping in a thin 22 karat chain. Honestly, although they are Franco's and they are very durable, just some that wear and tear, rolling, tossing and turning. If you ain't sleeping at night, you got problems, stresses, you might just do a little extra harm to that thin 22 karat. But daily wear and just how I'm doing it right here, um, this is my job, so I'm wearing it while I work. As you guys can see, it is 100% fine. Remember guys, you're buying a high quality Frank. I'll put some B-rolls of these pieces the one millimeter with the mini line in 22 karat outside 
And then I'll also put this one and a half millimeter dime clip Franco with the St. Christopher. Um, and then I have a bonus clip, the three millimeter diamond cut Franco with a standard angel in 22 karat. The angels are one of my favorite. So I slapped that bad boy. I also put a B-roll of me wearing it around my neck in case you want something a little bit bigger. But the point message is, yes, you can go smaller with 22 karat gold. There's a reason why they're made. There's a reason why we added them on Lynx Resale. We want to offer them because we can. And on Jokoji, a lot of people request, hey, can you make this piece of 22 karat? And I'll just add it to the website so they can purchase it and of course, we make it so we're adding more options with 22 karat it does take a little longer because we bat we make our pieces in bulk and then with 22 karat you have to have enough orders to start making them um, that's just how it makes sense and to be able to offer that pricing to you guys without it being crazy top level pricing so we can make most pieces in 22 karat it is up to you but we have some of the popular ones available in 22 karat for you guys to check out I do think, yes, you can wear 22 karat at the smaller sizes. I would just be kind of cautious with it, daily wear it, wear it out to dinner. I would not work out in it. I would not sleep in it, but other than that, you can enjoy it just fine. I get a lot of questions about the quality on Lynx resale, especially the never been worn items. It is all very good quality. The stuff that Lynx is selling is the stuff that Jokoji used to sell. Um, so it is good. That's how we grew. And a lot of people that try to compete with Jokoji are selling the same stuff Lynx is selling just right under Jokoji's prices. So if you want good deals like these 22 karat Francos, Lynx resale has them. People hate. We want to see Jokoji content. We don't like Lynx. Guys, I was literally at Lynx resell working half this week. I'm here today to make this video for you. It is, if you look at our channel name, it is literally Jacoji Links. That's how it started. These two companies are both ours and we love them and take care of them. Stocking different things, I'll make more videos on that content and the reason to why Jacoji is actually bringing new stuff in just based on things going on right now. But that has nothing to do with smaller 22 karat chains. I just want to mention that because people kind of get confused and they feel like Lynx is not as good. These Francos are very good quality. Just a different style. They're domestic, made from a different manufacturer. But again, we would not bring them if we did not believe in them. We're not just trying to waste everybody's time, including ours. So check it out. Yes, full endorsement. You can wear smaller 22 karat items. Just be a little extra cautious as far as sleeping in them, working out with them. But other than that, they are good to go. Just treat it like any other 20 or 14 or 18 karat smaller item. I would recommend checking class components and also the jump ring. And with your Koji, you have full warranty on the pendant. So if you want to send it back to get it thickened up or if it broke, we will warranty and repair anything needed. That's what we do. That's what we stand for. That's it for today's video. We'll see your next jewelry video. Smash.